Hey everyone, Ryan here with Fluorescent. Hot on the heels of the release of our newest theme, Cornerstone, designed specifically with large catalog merchants in mind, it felt like the perfect opportunity to spend some time going over some of the basics when it comes to setting up a new theme. This ensures that all that hard work put into setting up builds towards the creation of an intuitive shopping experience for customers, serving to keep them happy, and most importantly, keep them coming back. Sending customers into a maze is not as amazing as it sounds. In fact, it's a good way to get cobwebs all over your checkout, and you may even find some skeletons of former customers chilling by some obscure blog post from 2019. So let's go over setting up a beautifully arranged navigation using the tools available in Cornerstone. A clear and user-friendly hierarchy of categories makes it easy for users to quickly locate products in your storefront. Think of the flow of a grocery store where each aisle has a sign with its key product categories. Dairy, pasta, baking ingredients, snacks, mmm, oh yeah, and so on. When you work your way through the store, you instinctively know which aisles to look down to find the items on your list. Applying the same concept to your online store can increase conversions, reduce your bounce rate, and even help boost your SEO ranking. The first and most fundamental thing we'll look at is the structure of your navigation. If we look at our Cornerstone Barista demo, you can see our top level or parent categories. These are your permanently visible navigation items. The first one you'll see is new arrivals. This is a really smart way to drive visitors and repeat customers directly to your most recently added products. In a large inventory shop, often a visitor is searching not only for a specific item, but also a particular brand, which is why we've also prioritized a brand's mega menu before any product specific menus. If we move down to our brewer's mega menu, you'll notice we've not only included subcategories to help narrow down the search, but also a promotions block to highlight some of the most popular items in the category. In contrast, our Cornerstone Artisan demo only sells one type of product, handmade cards. So we've instead structured our navigation to be able to shop by type, occasion, style, and color. In another example, let's take a look at our Stiletto Organic demo. Here we have a shop all category, which is further broken down by concern, product type, and skin type. The goal in both of these examples is to organize your navigation in a way that is intuitive and easy for customers to scan. To achieve all three of these layouts, we've used mega menus. We have a separate video about how to set these up, which I'll link in the description below. Now that you've seen some examples, let's talk about best practices for navigation. A good rule of thumb is to keep your top level navigation links to seven or preferably fewer. This serves to not only keep your horizontal navigation uncluttered, but the fewer links you have, the better they are at gaining traction with search engines. Now let's talk about planning your navigation hierarchy. One effective industry practice is the card sorting exercise. It may sound a bit old school, but grabbing a pen and cue cards can be surprisingly insightful. This hands-on activity involves your customers in organizing your parent categories and subcategories. Need a detailed guide to kick things off? Check out the description for a link to a recommended comprehensive resource on the topic. Now, let's delve into the psychology behind the order of your parent links. It's a strategic move. Your first and last link should showcase your most important categories. Take our barista demo, for example. We kick it off with new arrivals to grab attention and build excitement. Then strategically, we wrap it up with sale at the end, enticing customers with potential discounts and boosting impulse purchases, which in turn increases the average order value. Finally, it's important not to forget your footer. You'll notice in our demo shops that we've kept our main navigation sections product specific, meaning that pages like About, Contact, and FAQs are either located in the secondary navigation or moved to the footer. The footer is also the perfect place to house internal policy pages and information about your brand. And there you have it. Our top tips for creating tip-top navigation, directing your customers intuitively through your storefront to the products that resonate with them and ideally to the checkout, all with as little friction as possible. Thanks for checking out our videos. I've dropped a link to Fluorescence user guides for these features in the description below. And please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team if you could use a hand or some advice on how to use them to their full potential. They're happy to assist. Until next time.